Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it's Tuesday, so it's time for snacks around the world. Today they are coming from a subscription box that I pay for with my own cashy money, Munch Addict. Of course, you know, if they wanted to sponsor me, I would not be angry about that. Anyhow, here goes. We have several things today. Uh, let's see. Actually, there are five things. I doubt that I will end up eating all five, but there are five because we got to finish up this particular box. I'm going to start things off today with something in a language that I can't read. I don't know what they are. Let me see if my little handy dandy cheat sheet has anything. Oh, there they are. That's weird. Oh, Ace New York Cheesecake. Cheesecake flavored crackers. Huh? Oh well, we'll find out. Oh. I need my cheat sheet. Let's see if this is in Deborah Proof Packaging. No, I can actually open it. Well, who knew, right? It smells like a buttercracker to me, not really a cheesecake. And of course, in transit, some of them are a little bit busted. Not too unexpected there. It is broken, but it just looks like a cracker. Oh no, they're all falling down. Well, that's for none for you. The hand is back, by the way. They're good crackers, I guess, but I don't taste cheesecake at all. Me neither. They, they taste like a butter cracker. I mean, they're not bad. But I lose cheesecake in that anywhere. But I would eat them for nice butter crackers. They are Korean, by the way. All right. Now, I'm going to open and try something that I doubt the hand will even take a bite of. Uh, Chip Boys Fire Red Hot Spicy Rolled Up Tortilla Chips. They show them with flames and limes. And these are from Mexico. Not a chance. Hand's not going to have any. But I'm going to have some, or at least one. Well, they don't smell hot straight off. I mean, like some Takis smell really hot. These are like not Takis. Y'all have seen Takis, you know what I mean. There you go. They look like Takis, don't they? Very crunchy. You don't want any either. Kind of like a Dorito. They have a little bit of spice to them, but they're not over the top spicy. If you can handle a little bit of spice, you can probably handle that just fine. They're kind of yummy. Would I go for them like as a first choice? No, a lot of other chips I like better, but there you go. Let's see <clears throat> what is next. How about something called Euro cake? I imagine it's from someplace in Europe. I've got to figure out where. Oh, it's from Thailand, because that makes sense. Euro cake custard, soft cake filled with a custard cream. Now, why would something from Thailand be called Euro cake? Maybe only people who spend euros come and buy them. I don't know. It looks like a little kind of smooshed cake. It's, uh... hmm. No, Oscar, you're not getting any. The, the, the cake is almost the texture of angel food cake not quite it's very very light the custard is almost imperceptible it's like give me more custard give me custard or give me death 
I don't think that's how that goes. Anyway, pretty good. No, you can't have any. I'm not giving you any either. <laughs> hmm. I am unimpressed. It's not bad. I think it would be good with a cup of tea. It actually dried my mouth out a little bit, so yeah. And I've dropped other things. Okay. Next, something that I hope is as yummy as it looks like it's going to be. Superstar Triple Chocolate Wafer. Let's see where it's from, first of all. This is from Indonesia. Crispy Light Wafer Covered with Chocolate. And it actually shows you chocolate wafer and cream. Okay. It says open here. So I'm trying to open here as opposed to going someplace else and opening it. Right here. Oh, that might actually work. Sort of. All right, I'm going to take this piece, and the hand can have this piece if he would like. Bye, bye. Smells very chocolatey. I think this would be great. Dunked in some milk. It's a little dry, but it does taste chocolatey. Kind of yummy. Got a little crunch to it while not being like super, super crunchy. Kind of yummy. It's a little dry. Mm -hmm. It's like a halal Kit Kat. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. I'm going to let the hand have the rest of this because he probably won't want the next thing. Which is the final thing. Um, this, this is a <clears throat> unicornio, <coughs> which is a heart shaped tamarind lollipop from Mexico. Love oh, tamarind. Love it. Let's see if it survived transit. Oh, it looks like it did. It's a heart, tamarind paste, and caramel and chili powder, I believe. Hand is shaking his head, no. But y'all know, you've seen me eat tamarind snacks before. I love it. Definitely caramel on the outside. Wow, that's chewy. It'll take me a long time to get through this. But I think it's going to end up being yummy. It's like, dude, just give me the tamarind. I don't even need the caramel. I love the tamarind and the chili powder. It's just a great combination to me. It took me a while to get through the, the caramel. So today we had Indonesia, two Mexicos, a Korea, and Thailand. We we're just kind of all over the place today. But uh, I'm going to work on this over the rest of my lunch break. Lunch. <laughs> I eat such a healthy diet some days, right? Anyway, thank you for coming by. Let me know what the, the neatest or weirdest or most interesting snack that you've had lately is. Hopefully you've tried something new lately. It's always good to try something new. And uh, also tell me how you deal with caramel without it getting all stuck to your teeth. Because, yeah. Hey, Ann, you got anything to say? No. There's nothing to say. Thank you all for coming by. See you soon.